The pantry is the savior of every kitchen. This is where you can stow canned foods, flour, and other kitchen essentials away. Unfortunately, some homes have kitchens that are so cramped that the owner must make do without a pantry until she moves. Still, you should keep hoping for an organized kitchen if her situation is the same as yours. We've listed these 12 small kitchens with no pantry improvement ideas here. One or some should be able to give you a fresh perspective you can take to tackle your kitchen organization. As always, Simphome curates you with the list. Number 12. Hide them away. Lacking a pantry isn't the end of the world. Where should you store your food? You may like this idea. A bookshelf. You can keep them in the living area, bedroom, or kitchen with stackable bins to store cereal bars, chips, candy, crackers, and smaller things. These cheap bins keep little nibbles from scattering on the shelf. For the canned goods, they go on the shelf under the snack zone. Since stored foods are an eyesore, hang a curtain rod in front of the shelf, then hang a drape over them. Number 11. How to build your own portable above storage cabinet. Using double-sided MDF, in which both sides are pre-finished, you can get a cabinet above the fridge. Because of its melamine finish, cleaning is a breeze. You can use paint and primer in its place if you can't find a two-sided MDF panel. For the gluing task, DAP's Rapid Fuse adhesive would be ideal. Even a small amount of glue proved to be quite effective. If you're used to using two-step glue, switching to the glue that just requires one step for a secure hold will save you a lot of time. Number 10. Tap into the underside of your cabinets. If you do not have any space to store dried foods, try tapping into the underside of your cabinet. To do this, you will need some mason jars. Then, remove the lids. After that, grab a scrap piece of wood and place the flat top on it. Poke a hole in the flat top by hammering a nail into the center. Next, screw the lid through the hole you've poked into the underside of your cabinet. Then, you only need to fill the jar with anything you like and tighten it into the lid. Be careful when opening or closing the lid. You must hold the bottom of the jar when doing it. Number 9. A pantry replacement idea between the studs. If your kitchen is 10 by 10 feet, you could put a pantry between the studs in the hallway and the back door. Given that the author's studs are 12 to 16 inches apart, it was impossible to forecast their distance. Wall studs will define the width of this hole. After you've stored the old wire, you can construct the new pantry. Properly, you'd hide the side piece under the pantry molding. However, you may need to improvise based on available resources. Next, install molding, shelves, and paint. Color should match internal doors and trim. Last, use small adjustable clips instead of L brackets to hang shelves. Number 8. The Stainless Steel Pull-Out Storage Idea If you enjoy the shabby chic style with white, country, scraped, and stainless, this compact kitchen might be a wonderful source of inspiration for you. It is sturdy, practical, able to fit into the uncomfortable space, and movable, and you may utilize it to organize the utensils and supplies in your kitchen. If you want to imitate the design without rebuilding from scratch, you can get a 10-tier aluminum baking trolley by Caterware that rolls on casters. Number 7. Build Your Own Slimline Spice Rack Short Instructions Cut four 90cm pine 89 by 19 mm shelves. Cut railing dowels to 92cm. Organize shelves and sides. The top two shelves should be 23cm apart, the bottom three 33cm. Side panels should show the top and bottom shelves. Next, mark holes 4.5cm above shelves and 1.5cm from side panels. Transfer rail hole measurements to scrap wood. Clamp the guide to the side panel. Drill 10 mm into the side. Add 10 mm to your guide's thickness and wrap the painter's tape around the drill bit. The tape indicates that you're only drilling 10 mm into the side panel, and the guide keeps your holes uniform. Number 6. Create a spot for a faux pantry. If you still have a spare room in your kitchen but smaller for a dedicated pantry, you can try creating this faux pantry. This faux pantry consists of many shelves with different purposes. You can create it by simply screwing dowels into the wall. Then, add as many shelves as you want. You can also add a shelf that holds a recipe book for you. Related to the shelf, we have an interesting resource for you titled 12 Wooden Crate Project Ideas. If you feel the importance of recycling is much higher than the last election, you need to give the idea a try or two. Go and check it out. With that said, let's continue our countdown with Number 5. The DIY 2-Tier Wood Produce Stand from Wooden Crates 
It's a convenient solution outside the pantry to complete your kitchen's island feature. With it, you can quickly reach your fresh ingredients such as avocado, onion, tomato, or sweet potato. General Instructions Use the saw to make two boards, each measuring 34 inches in length, from the 1 by 4 by 8 piece of lumber. To make a 30-degree angle, cut the top of one end of each board. The sidewalls of the produce stand will be made from the following materials. Make two boards that are 10 inches long from the 2 x 4 x 8 board. Use a miter saw to shave off 45 degrees from both ends. Number 4. Build a new pot rack with an extra shelf. Create the frame for the pot rack by cutting the MDF. One rectangle will be nestled inside another to create a thicker, double thickness frame. To support the metal grate shelf, you'll need to cut the inner rectangle shorter than the outer. Create yours to fit the opening size of the metal grates you intend to use. Start with the smaller rectangle and wrap the larger one around it. At the bottom of the rack, ensure that both layers are flush. Use wood glue and Brad's nails to ensure the pieces stay there. Number 3. Sort the items in your drawers. The drawer can be a great place to stash away clutter. It does not mean you can let clutter conquer this space though. You can keep things tidy inside your drawers by investing in drawer dividers. Clear containers may work like a charm. You only need to place them in the drawers, then sort out your snacks and put them in the containers. Number 2. Build the rollout cabinet idea. First, you'll need 22-inch full-extension ball-bearing slides and a 1 quarter inch aluminum rod. Measure the cabinet opening. Most base cabinets are 23 inches deep and may fit this container storage cabinet rollout. If the distance from the face frame to the cabinet back is less than 22 inches, you'll need a shallower rollout and shorter drawer slides. Trim the sides. After modifying components B, C, D, and E for cabinet width, cut off all but the carrier bottom. Make L-shaped cuts with a table saw, but stop an inch short of your inside corner lines. Before we complete the countdown with our final choice of the current list, we'd like to inform you that if you need other improvement ideas, you have Simphome Content Collections on your side. There, we cover other interesting topics such as garden, home improvement, finance, bathroom upgrade, bedroom update ideas, and many more. We'll see you there, and until we meet again sometime in the future, let's close our countdown with number one. DIY Kitchen Basket Shelf with DIY Dowel Joints To begin, consider what you plan to put on the shelves. Choose 1x2x8 framing lumber for the challenge's legs, then fasten 8-inch wide shelves to it. You will go beyond using simple glue and screw connections, called butt joints. In the project, you'll use dowel joints. Dowel joints can be made using a drill and a handsaw and are quite stronger than a butt joint. Construct a square or rectangular shelf and use dowel joints to fix the corners. Next, you must screw the legs into place and attach to the shelves. That's it for now. Before you leave this presentation, we'd like to appreciate every second you spend watching the video. If we deserve more of your attention in the future, press the subscribe button if you haven't done it already. Like the video if you believe it will motivate the YouTube algorithm to push the video to more people. Honestly though, it's more like a myth to us, so feel free to move on with your plan after the video ends. Lastly, we hope you have great luck with your health and project. See you again soon!